Deadpool 3 is under development for so long, with the character going into the MCU, indicating a lot of changes. Deadpool 3's latest leaked footage is probably the best thing we're about to see. It features Milana Vaintrump's Squirrel Girl. Also, Jim Carrey might play the villain this time. Keep watching as we dive into some interesting plot details about the very anticipated movie. Milana Vaintrub as Squirrel Girl. Ha! What she said. Also, all of the the leaked footage of Milana Vaintrub as Squirrel Girl just proved the long speculated fan theories for Deadpool 3. This piece of information proved to be the best thing that we will see in the third film featuring Ryan Reynolds in the lead role. After the online video leak, fans are now coming up with different theories about how this character will adjust in the film. One thing is sure though, Milana Vaintrup as the iconic superhero Squirrel Girl will definitely do an awesome job. The test footage was shared and quickly removed from Twitter by the previous New Warriors showrunner and writer Kevin Beagle. The video featured a detailed look at Milana Vaintrup in the role. Most Marvel fans know this, but we'll mention it anyway. The famous actress voices Squirrel Girl in the Marvel Rising animated series. According to Screen Rant, Milana Vaintrump's Squirrel Girl will appear in the very anticipated Deadpool 3 film as an antagonist. Squirrel Girl and Deadpool have some history in the comics, so the leaked footage proved a point that was surprising, but somehow expected. So what do we know about Squirrel Girl? Well, her powers are truly amazing and her personality, willpower, and courage are what help make her unbeatable. She also whooped Deadpool in the comics, so Squirrel Girl is more powerful than you think. Since the character is now in Disney Plus ownership, most fans are begging for Squirrel Girl live action series on the platform. Would you guys like to see this idea coming to reality? Let us know down in the comments. History with leaks. We can fight this. You're right. Back in 2018, fans of Deadpool got a treat when someone leaked a few minutes of test footage, and the suspects were Ryan Reynolds and Tim Miller. The question of who leaked the Deadpool test footage was somehow more important than what fans saw in it. Back then, the film was struggling to get a green light, and thanks to the hype, the leaked footage caused. According to Ryan Reynolds, within 24 hours, they had a green light. The video was quite short, but succeeded to cause such a craze. It was a CGI version of the road action scene from the movie, in which Deadpool managed to end a bunch of characters in a very exciting scene. The thing is, if the footage never leaked, we would have never seen a Deadpool continuation. And ever since that footage was released, the identity of the leaker has been discussed. At first, fans didn't really care about it, since, well, what's to complain? However, now fans really want to know who we should thank for what's become one of the most loved comic book movies. The main suspects are Reynolds, Miller, Reese, and Wernick. It's got to be one of those four, and whoever did it, did it intentionally. They knew how popular the film would be, but had to find a way and prove that to Fox. According to Reynolds, the leak was from one of those four, with Reynolds and Miller being the two main suspects. There's also the fact that only the four of them had access to it, and if someone else did it, he would have gotten into some serious problems. And as Reynolds said, I know that one of us did it. There are four of us. There's me, Rhett Reese, Paul Wernick, and Tim Miller, the director. One of us did it. We all sort of said it at the beginning. Someone should leak it. Someone should leak it. So yeah, Deadpool has quite the history with leaks, and leaks in this film sort of work like a very good advertisement. Now, let's check the actors that are supposed to come back for the third film, and of course, the new additions. Deadpool 3 cast and crew. <laughs> Wendy Molyneux and Lizzie Molyneux Longlin are the people in the writing department for Deadpool 3. Wendy Molyneux and Lizzie Molyneux Longlin are sisters, known as the Molyneux sisters, who work as screenwriters and television producers. When it comes to the cast, Ryan Reynolds will be back to reprise his role as Wade Wilson slash Deadpool. And since Vanessa is alive, we'll probably see the two together, meaning that Marina Baccarin will also be back. Domino actress Zazie Beetz revealed that despite her wanting to revive the role, she hadn't had any specific conversations around Deadpool 3 at the time. That can be changed any minute though. Then there's Josh Brolin's Cable, a character that is likely to appear. Negasonic teenage warhead Brianna Hildebrand, Yukio Shayuli Kutsuna, and Colossus Stefan Kapiki are all expected to come back and reprise their roles in the third installment. Russell, Julian Dennison, will make an appearance as well. Oh, 
Let's not forget the latest addition, Milana Vaintrub as Squirrel Girl. Why Deadpool 3 is delayed. Deadpool is certainly one of the films with the most complicated release history. Originally showing up as Wade Wilson in X-Men Origins Wolverine, Ryan Reynolds is the person we should all send thank you cards to. Not only because of his amazing performance in it, but also because, well, it's obvious that Reynolds himself leaked test footage of the first Deadpool to prove that the film is worth making. Now, it's not something he's proud of, and we do understand why he did it. But even though it was never confirmed, fans know he did it. However, Deadpool 3 proved to be the most problematic film for the studio and the actors, as Fox, which originally put out the Deadpool movies, was bought by Disney. This caused a lot of problems for the film that saw a few delays, and then there was the pandemic situation. So yeah, the film is a mess. Posting a video that is made to look like the opening credits for the new Unsolved Mysteries, but using footage from Deadpool, Reynolds' Twitter account honored the anniversary of the first leak. Reynolds himself told Collider in August that he was 70% sure Deadpool 3 would start filming in 2022. He, however, mentioned that he doesn't know for sure. This proves that we should expect a release date sometime in late 2023. However, most fans noted that Reynolds honoring the anniversary of the first leak means that he's about to leak something for the third film if the producers don't share at least a piece of the information about what is happening with the third installment. This might sound a bit too much, but again, it's Reynolds we're talking about here. Therefore, anything is possible. Aside from ongoing plot rumors and the leaked footage of Squirrel Girl, nothing is given to fans. Though it seems like we've been waiting forever for a film that, most thought, would never happen. Deadpool 3 is definitely happening. Though filming is not expected to start until 2022, thankfully, the third installment is at least moving forward. It will be rated R, and we are working on a script right now. And Ryan's overseeing a script right now, the Marvel boss told Collider. It's exciting for it to have begun, a very different type of character in the MCU. And Ryan is a force of nature, which is just awesome to see him bring that character to life, he added. We guess the wait will be worth it, and we hope Ryan Reynolds will again leak an entire scene from the movie. Until then, let's check if Deadpool 3 will include Jim Carrey. I honestly thought came out like a year. Marvel's Dan Rickman, in a secured Patreon post, has announced that Jim Carrey was under consideration to play the villain in Deadpool 3. This would be a big deal for the film, as Carrey is one of the most prosperous Hollywood actors. He, mixed up with the sarcastic nature of Reynolds, would certainly bring something unforgettable. However, this is yet to be confirmed, and according to We Got This Covered, Madcap is one of the potential villains for Deadpool 3. What would you guys want to see in the third installment of Deadpool? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.